Hello once again fellow simmers um, but today I decided to make this video a little bit different than what I normally do because it's about a tool that I found um, that will make things a lot easier for hopefully a lot of people um, so as you guys probably know that when you're trying to get into uh, getting custom scenery and custom airports um, especially ortho uh, you could need a lot of space of hard drive you know to store all your data so like for example in my computer um, I didn't want to start running into that problem so I have this data drive which is almost full but that's just my data you know pictures videos family videos documents or stuff like that then I have my explain folder and a one terabyte SSD actually it's a NVMe SSD and then I have a scenery folder um, because I started getting all the Orbix um, packages and I noticed right away that I was not going to have enough room in that one terabyte. So, and my Windows drive is on another SSD, which is only a 500 gig. So I, I don't put any of the x stuff on there. Um, so when you want to do, when you want to put your scenery in another folder and another hard drive, um, you need to somehow tell x that that scenery it thinks that it's in the custom scenery folder but in reality it's something else so you need something like what they call a, a symbolic link which tells it's like a shortcut it tells explain when you're looking for this data go over there because it's over there but to it it looks like it's in that folder so if we look at my custom scenery folder here um, you can see that all of them most of them look like they have like they're a shortcut they all have that little arrow like shortcuts do because I moved all my scenery all my airports all my Orbix to my Z drive so it's no longer here only the ones that that look like regular folders are here but when we look at the at the folder itself you can see that it's just it just says file folder it doesn't say shortcut even though it has that little arrow like if it was a shortcut but you cannot just create a shortcut you have to create what they call a symbolic link so um, with Windows um, this is basically was going to be an explanation of how to do it on Windows because I do use Linux every once in a while but I'm not using it right now um, so and I don't even know what they would do on a Mac um, so this is a, a guide of how to do it and as you can see there's a, a command in the Windows uh, command prompt called make link and this is what is used to create symbolic links but as you can see here it gets pretty deep into uh, the command line so you have to do a lot of typing and then you know in order to you have to navigate to the drives and the folders where you have the file then you have to go to the folder where you want to put that symbolic link um, oh great an ad so it's, it gets pretty complicated you know so instead of doing that um, you know there's a little tool which actually looks like they talk about right here with the link shell extension that tool is the one that I just discovered and it makes everything so much easier so when you go to this website that I'll include in the description below um, you basically just download the little program of course they have a, a thing if you want to um, donate um, but basically you're going to download this one right here that says uh, all Windows 64 they also have um, the 32-bit so you just download the little program so basically uh, once you download it you know it's gonna be wherever you put it where you saved it you double click on it you just say yes you want to run it you go through all the different uh, you know the, the options that it gives you it's just gonna be next 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 and okay and then once you have it the only thing you're going to notice different is that when you click on like a file so like if for example I go to my scenery folder where I have all, all the extra scenery and everything let's say for example I wanted to create a symbolic link for angel point all you have to do is right click on it click pick link source and then you navigate to your explain folder where you want to put it so I would go to my X drive my explain 11 folder my custom scenery and I would just right click in here and put drop as a symbolic link 
and then they would ask you if you're sure you want to do that and you put yes I'm not gonna do it because I already have that one in there but you put yes and you're gonna basically end up with with this which looks like a shortcut to angel point which was the one that I just created a symbolic link to and now when you click on this folder and you open it you actually do open the folder on the other hard drive which is like if it was just like a shortcut like I said before but anyways um, you can do this with multiple files at one time so I, I think I've done up to like 15 20 airports at once and you just basically right click highlight them all right click on them put pick link source go to the explain custom scenery folder drop it as a symbolic link and that's it you're done and if uh, your explain is working correctly uh, the next time you start up explain it will pick up all those scenery packages and add them to the scenery.ini configuration file you might have to go in there and change the order like always you know with any custom scenery that you add to make sure that it's not below other layers that will hide it but other than that it works great and it makes this so much easier so hopefully some of you guys can take advantage of this and it'll be a, a useful tool for you guys too I have found it invaluable and I just barely found it a couple of days ago so hopefully you guys uh, get something out of this video and I'll see you on the next one